Good morning, children. You are welcome to SS class. Today we will study a new lesson, chapter 27, the judiciary. Today we will study chapter 27, the judiciary. Maybe you have previous class you have learned about the judiciary and system. The independent judiciary, the independent judiciary is the foremost requirements for the success of the federal government. India has a single integrated, integrated judiciary system. India has India has a single a single integrated judiciary system. The judiciary administers justice, interprets the laws protects the natural rights of the citizens and looks into the union and state laws through the hierarchy of the courts. Which are they? The judiciary, judiciary administers justice first, justice then interpret the laws, then protects the natural rights of the citizens, protects the natural citizens and looks into the union and state Laws through the hierarchy of the courts. Hierarchy of the courts. First one, the an independent judiciary is the foremost required for the success of the federal government. India has a single, India has a single integrated judicial system. India has a single, single integrated judicial system. What is judicial system? Judicial system administrates, judicial system administrates justice, interprets, interprets the laws, protects the natural rights of citizens of, and looks in the union, looks into the union and state and union and state laws through the hierarchy of the courts. Now let us go to importance of judiciary, importance of judiciary, judiciary Protestant judicial response. Judiciary is a selfless, selfless discourse. Whenever there is a conflict, whenever there is a conflict between between people and the state government, when there, whenever conflict between people and the state government or two states or two states between the state government and the union government. First one, important judiciary. Listen, first, first one, judiciary settlers, settlers, whenever, whenever there is a conflict, whenever there is a conflict between people, between people and the state government, between people and state government or two states, two states or two states between the state government and the union government. So, that is their duty. The duty to judiciary to settlers, they are they will churches, they will they will go to and dealing with the people where they support this. So next point is uh, what is importance of judiciary? Next point is judiciary of course the enforces and enforces the fundamental rights of the citizens of India. Judiciary of course and enforces the fundamental rights of the Fundamental rights of the citizens of India, each citizen of India. Thus, the citizen can move each person. The citizens of the person can move to court if they their feel rights have been violated. They can move to court when their rights have been rights have been violated. They can go to the court. That's a the second duty is the judicial enforce, of course, and enforce the fundamental rights of the each citizens. Okay. Then the third, third duty is the the Supreme Court is the final interpreter of the Constitution. The final interpreter of the Constitution, the Supreme Court is the final interpreter of the our Constitution. It is also empowered to declare. And also declare a law null or avoid if it is against the principles and ideals of constitution. 
they can avoid or they can cancel a loan. Supreme Court is the final interpreter of the constitution. There is a power to declare a law, declare a law null and avoid it is good against the principles and else our constitution. These are the main importance of the revision. The first one, they have to set this, discuss the law, there is a conflict between the people and the state government or other two states. Second one, enforce the fundamental rights of the citizens of persons, each persons. The third one is the Supreme Court is the final interpreter of the constitution, interpreter of the of constitution and they can some laws they can declare a law a null and avoid it uh, against the principle they can deal with some constitution. Now let us put the other main point. Let us study about the Supreme Court. What do we have to study now? The Supreme Court. Supreme Court is the Supreme Court is the at the apex of the judicial hierarchy. Supreme Court is the apex of the Judicial hierarchy, the highest level. Supreme Court, where is uh, situated in New Delhi? Where is situated in New Delhi? Supreme Court is the apex of the judicial hierarchy. Hierarchy, you know, the uh, step is the high, the, the hierarchy. It is a highest hierarchy, you know. The judicial is the apex of the judicial hierarchy and also it is very situated, it is situated in New Delhi. Its names Final decision it is a final decision which are the abided by all the courts of our country. There are many courts in all the final decisions. When we take the final decisions, the High Court, the Supreme Court, the Supreme Court is to take the final decision which are the abided by all the courts of our all the courts of our country. This is the Supreme Court. Now let us put the composition. Supreme Court is the Composition. Composition. This is the current how. This how many persons are in the Supreme Court, how many they are, how many persons are, who is working there at the composition. There is Chief Justice. First, the Chief Justice and other 25 other judges are there. 25 other Chief Justice and then, Chief Justice and 25 other judges are there. Consist of the Chief Justice and 25 other judges of the, ju ju the Justice Head of the Supreme Court. The Justice Chief Justice, the Head of the High Court, Supreme Court. Now, how they appointment? Who appointed? How they appointed? Let us go to, let us study. Who appointed? Appointments. If you go to the uh, Chief ju Justice Sup uh, Su Supreme Court, then who will appoint? The President, President of India, the President appoints the Chief Justice. Who appoints? The President. The President appoints the Chief Justice in Constitution with the judges of the Supreme Court. The President, of, uh, President appoints the Chief Justice the, in consultation with the judges of the Supreme Court and the High Court to whom? To whom deems the necessary. Other judges are appointed by the president in consultation with the chief justice. In consultation with the chief justice. So the president, of, president appoints chief justice in consultation with the judges of the Supreme Court. He can alone he can do, but the consultation with the Supreme Court. First take him to consultation with the Supreme Court, then he will be appointed chief justice. Then other judges, there are 25 other judges are there. Other judges are appointed by the president in consultation with the chief justice. Now, let us next point eligibility. They are eligible. How? They are eligible. To be a citizen of India, other countries they can put a citizen of first one, to be a citizen of India and 10 years of India's judge of the High Court, 10 years experience, 10 years experience the, um, in the advocate in the High Court, advocate in the High, high Court, be a citizen of India and have experience at least 
Pirates are the judge of the high court and or at least in ten years and advocate of the high courts. Or distinguish between just jurists the present presence of opinion and like that in the end. This is the eligibility of the members of the division. Now let us go to them how their time how how many years they will. The Chief Justice and other judges of the Supreme Court hold office till they attain age of 65. How many years? 65. The Chief Justice, Chief Justice and other judges of the Supreme Court hold office till they attain 65 years. Supreme Court judges can be removed by the President on the grounds of misuse of the office and other misbehavior or incapacity. They can decide or they can remove something problem. There are examples or grounds of misuse of office or pro, pro misbehavior and incapability. Like that, they can remove. The process of the impeachment, the process of the removing the Supreme Court judges is called impeachment. It is called impeachment. The process involves motion which will contains the charges against the judges. This motion between uh, must be passed with two-third majority, two-third majority of the members of present and voting in both houses of parliament. Like that only they can move. This is a time, you have no time how many till 65 years they can. They can do 65 years they can, they can in the court. Now, look at the word jurisdiction. Jurisdiction, it refers to how? What is that jurisdiction? Jurisdiction is refers to the scope of authority and the Supreme Court to carry, to carry out, carry out the judgments and the enforce those. What is the jurisdiction? Jurisdiction is the Refers to the scope of authority of the Supreme Court to carry out the judgments and the enforce the laws. Enforce the laws. It refers to the scope of authority. It refers to the scope of authority. Supreme Court to carry out and the judgments and the enforce the laws. Enforce the enforce the laws. Supreme Court enjoys the following jurisdiction. Look at the board. Which are the original jurisdiction? Original jurisdiction. The original jurisdiction means certain types of certain types of cases. Certain types of cases can originate in the Supreme Court alone. Some cases the Supreme Court can take alone. Supreme Court has original jurisdiction in the case of following cases the Supreme Court taken. Dispute between two states, court disputes conflicts. Any conflicts between two states, the judiciary will take the Supreme Court take the decisions. Dispute between two states. If there is a conflict between two states, the Supreme Court take the decisions. Then also dispute between the union government. Dispute between the union government and one or two states. And also the dispute between union government and there is a conflict between uh, the board and or something between two uh, union states or one more states. They will, they will take a uh, decision take them from the uh, Supreme Court. And also the cases which concern the violation of the constitution, the government or anyone. Cases which concern the violation of the constitution, relation between the constitution by the government or anyone. That time also they will take the decision. And last one, the issue of rights or the enforcement of the fundamental rights. Enforcement of the fundamental rights. Issue of rights, rights of the or any command the, for the enforcement of the fundamental right. These are the original jurisdiction of the they will take the cases. Now, let us go to this other point.
आपल्या इथं आपले ज्युरिस्टिशन आपल्या इथं ज्युरिस्टिशन आपले ज्युरिस्टिशन मीन्स द पावर द पावर ऑफ कोर्ट द पावर ऑफ कोर्ट थ्रू विच इट कॅन रिव्ह्यू द जजमेंट्स ऑफ द हाय कोर्ट जजमेंट इन द हाय कोर्ट आपले ज्युरिशन मीन्स द पावर ऑफ कोर्ट द पावर हॅज मेरी पावर नो पावर थ्रू विच इट कॅन बी इट कॅन रिव्ह्यू इट कॅन रिव्ह्यू द जजमेंट्स ऑफ द हाय कोर्ट द सुप्रीम कोर्ट बी द हायेस्ट ज्युडिशियल अथॉरिटी हॅज द पावर टू रिव्ह्यू द डिसिशन्स ऑफ द हाय कोर्ट अँड गी इज ऑन जजमेंट्स इन मार्टिस सिव्हिल अँड द क्रिमिनल केसेस एनी केसेस they will take the supreme court is the being the highest judicial supreme court is the highest judicial authority has the power the power to review the decisions of the high court and high court and gives on judgments in the matters of the civil criminal cases so he said supreme court is the very important for the uh, india the highest place you know highest he said high supreme court is the apex of the judicial hierarchy judicial hierarchy is situated where situated in new delhi and we have seen that the um, eligibility and composition composition that you know that the, there are chief justices and 20 25 other judges the president of india appointed appointed the chief justices and other judges with the consultation and that eligibility be to be a citizen of india and also they have a expert and experience in the news of court and the advocate and the time they can tell to be 65 years they can if in cases they can the person can remove from the post and and also their functioning judicial is the supreme court authority of the supreme court is the carry out the judgments and the enforce of the laws government because there are many rules and regulations and constitutions and also these are all take the control and the control of the supreme court so it is very important for the government of india that every case needs they can take the laws and the they will supreme court is the original judicial in the case of Uh, between conflicts of the states and any union government and or, uh, other states and also they have cases concern the violation of the constitution and also issue at the right a right of the enforcement of the fundamental right these are the main points of this lesson and now let us come to here thank you very much for your watching